Round four of my career, you should be good fun. Um, I've actually finished in the points every time up to now, so I don't know how that's happened. I've got pretty lucky. As you can see in the standings, I'm sick for now, so here we go. I might as well get going. Yeah. Um, this is the first time I'm doing commentary on it as well. I'll just check. I'll show you, like, a couple of people last time were saying I'm not on ultimate. I am. Um, I've got the assists on with medium traction control, I think, so that's pretty much what I've always used on this game. Um, yeah, it should be good fun. Um, this is the first time where I'm showing you practice one as well, because last time that I did practice one, it was just terrible. Um, so I decided not to do it live anymore. But I'm gonna try it again, I'm gonna do it with practice and everything, it should be good fun. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy, fuck this guy, he takes so long to talk, he's just... I don't even need to know what you're saying, just go away, mate. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, I got new parts as well, how about that? Downforce. Alright, there's a comment, hold on. Um, where, where are the comments? Oh yeah. When you, uh, I'm pretty sure I already have, mate, yeah. I already have. I've checked out your channel, Larry, mate. Um, this thing, my subscriptions, I've got them on private, I've had them on like that for months, so you won't be able to see it, but yeah. Alrighty. Um, let's go practice. So this is the first time that I'm doing it, like, live whilst talking, and I'm doing it at practice one, I haven't played this game in ages, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. I'm probably gonna be quite slow, but that's fine. I don't know. Yeah. I just have to set up the video. It might take a couple of minutes. In Russia for what is expected to be a compelling race weekend. But it all begins today with practice. Alrighty, I'll get going soon. I just need to change a few settings on the actual YouTube, so that should be done. Just about now. Yep. Well, I'd be disappointed if we didn't, frankly. If race control want to clamp down on drivers wandering off the track, then it's up to them to police it. As a driver, you're being paid to get your car around the circuit as quickly as possible, don't forget. So if you're not pushing those limits, if you're ignoring the advantageous line, then you're not doing your job properly. Now Alrighty. Here we go. This is the first time I've raced in on this game in quite a while, so it's going to be pretty bad, but... Hopefully I don't crash too many times. I don't like this track, it's not a very good track. Pretty much everyone agrees with me on that one. But it should still be a fun race. Um, if you're wondering about the setup, I just use the same setup every single time. It's just a standard one that I've had for quite a while. Alrighty. I'll try and make practice, not go for too long. I'll just do a couple of laps on most sets of tyres. That's what I normally do anyway, so I want to get racing as soon as I can. Oh, that's pretty where am I from? I am from Australia. Well, I wasn't actually born in Australia, I was born in the UK. And then moved to Australia about what ten years ago now? So yeah. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a bad lap. I already know that, but hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, that's fine. I've already messed up and it's only one corner. Um, I'll try not to speak too much, because I know when I speak I kind of make a lot of mistakes. But... That wasn't terrible. Um, what's my favorite thing about YouTube? I'd say live streaming, <laughs> like I'm doing right now. It's just, it's really easy to just set up live stream and then 
put it up and then you don't have to like record it, you don't have to edit any of it, it just goes up straight away when you're playing, so. Yeah, I think that's good fun, because I do a lot of endurance races as well. And whenever I'm doing them, I just completely forget that I'm doing the live streams. And it just does it all in the background, so yeah, that's really nice, it's pretty easy to do. This isn't a very good lap. But that's fine. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad to be honest. Two seconds on my teammate. I know that, that sounds bad, but it's my first lap. It wasn't very clean, so I got a lot of time to make up, and he's on a quick attack on down. Alright, that was a lot nicer than the last one. Hopefully I'm a bit closer this time then. Oh, he's just gone faster. Not by much though. Oh no, I fucked that up. That's fine. Alright. I kind of got used to that. I don't want to spend too much time practicing anyway, so... I'll be pretty quick with it, I'll just do a couple more laps. Um, I'll actually stop doing practice on this set of tyres, I'll just go to the next session, so... Try to get the racing done as quickly as I can, I wanna... It's a 100% race, so it's gonna take a while either way, but... It'll be better if I don't spend too much time practicing. Yeah. Alright. I'm um, sorry if I look pretty bad at the moment with the driving and everything, I understand that. I'm pretty slow on the first few sessions, it takes me a while to like get used to it all, but if you've watched any of the last races, I've done pretty well, so it should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, here we go to the next session. Hopefully it doesn't rain, like the AI, they're really slow in the rain, I'm pretty quick in the rain, but I still, oh jeez, I almost crashed there, I wasn't even watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't, it's annoying the rain, because the AI, they're so much slower than normal people. When it starts raining, it just kills the racing, so I don't want that to happen. I want to have some close races. Alrighty, I'll try not to talk too much on this life, I'll try to get it done pretty nicely. That's better. That wasn't too good. <laughs> As I said before, I don't know what it is about this track, it's just, it's not nice to drive, I, it's a bit weird as well because it's a street circuit but then the walls, there, there's so much runoff, it's like when you make a mistake it doesn't even matter, you just kind of either cut the corner or go wide, so. It's a bit annoying, I don't really like it too much, I'll try to get this round done as quickly as I can. <laughs> um. Here we go, this lap's been pretty bad, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm doing really bad to be honest at the moment. And this is the thing, like, I want to commentate and I want to talk, but whenever I do that, I know my racing's a lot worse than 
of what it normally is. Um, I don't know, it should make the video a bit more interesting. It's normally a bit weird just sitting there, not being able to talk for two hours whilst I'm putting it on YouTube. Alright, it's the first lap done. Um, I was, it was a pretty bad lap, but I'm actually, it wasn't too slow, I don't think, so. I should try to focus a bit more, to be honest. I hate this track so much. <laughs> I'm sorry about the driving, I know it's looking bad because it is, but I just hate this track. It's one of the worst on the calendar. Accidentally cutting basically every single corner, but I'll ignore that. Alright, that, that actually, what, eight tenths off Ricardo, who's in a Red Bull, so that's not too bad. Alright, I'll finish up that session then. Oh, I'll do one more lap, I'll change the tyre sets. Alrighty, um, there's a couple of people watching. I hope you're enjoying it. This is only practice, so it's not going to be too interesting at the moment, but I won't be taking too long. I'll just be doing a couple more laps and then getting into qualifying straight away, so... As I've said to the person who was watching earlier, <laughs> I hate this track, it's really annoying, but... That's okay, hopefully it goes a bit better. I'm actually looking pretty quick, to be honest, at the moment. Like, I've set some bad laps, but... Still, the AI aren't too fast. Um, as I showed earlier, this is on Ultimate. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's probably because I'm using this because I don't play this game enough, but... Oh, hey, mate. Hi. Alrighty, I'll try... <laughs> I want to talk and I want to read the comments and talk to you all, and I will. Oh, I say all. Oh, there's only a couple of people watching, but still, you know what I mean. Um, but I also kind of want to focus, so I will be talking as much as I can. Probably only on the straights, because if I talk through the corners, I'll crash. Alright, that was a pretty good... First corner. I like this is probably one of the only nice corners where it just sweeps around. It's really cool. Flat out as well. Alrighty, that was a decent first sector. That's thing, like all of these laps they're pretty scruffy, so I know have a, I have a lot of pace to still find, so should be another race where I can finish in the points, I hope. That's pretty much my goal of these races, because it's Toro Rosso, it's not the best car. Um, am I looking forward to the new game? Yes. Yes, I am. I, I can't wait for it. I've been looking around like, you know they've done the beta and everything, so I tried to be a part of that, but I actually didn't um, like register or whatever quick enough, so I didn't get into the beta, but I've been watching all the videos and it looks so much fun, I just... I've really enjoyed the actual F1 season this um, this year. It's been great to watch, I think we can all agree on that, so... And just to see the cars in the new game and see what they look like and race with them, it's gonna be so much fun, I, I can't wait. <laughs> to be honest, that's... Yeah, it should be a lot of fun, so I'm definitely gonna be getting F1 2017. Probably the week that it's released. Um, I'm not going to pre-order it or anything. I'll get it nice and cheap. 
Um, how's my day? It's been pretty good. It is. Um, so right now in Australia it's 12 p.m. So midday pretty much. Um, I just answered that. Australia. <laughs> yeah. Where am I from? So it's Australia. I live in Brisbane. It's 12 p.m. I woke up pretty late a couple of hours ago. I wasn't too sure what I was going to do, but I decided I might as well do some racing. Um, yeah. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the career mode. I've done this career mode most of the time and it's not been with me talking on it. Like I've just done it and it's not been any commentary so I know that's not too interesting. So I thought I might as well wake up a bit earlier and then do it live and talk and hopefully it goes a bit better. Hopefully it's fun. I've been hearing very mixed reviews on the beta. Uh, that was one of the comments. All right. I'm not too sure about that. I, as I said, I haven't actually played the beta. I've got friends who have played it and they said it's really good fun. And I've seen some footage of it on YouTube as well. It was kind of leaked a bit. Someone just recorded their TV and put it up on YouTube a couple of days ago. So that was pretty cool. Actually, it looked pretty good. Um, the car designs and everything weren't on it, so I couldn't get like much of a view on what it'll look like. But it was pretty good. They, they actually sounded pretty nice. You know how in the um, new season with new cars, when you like go off the throttle and stuff, you'll if you watch it on TV, if you watch it actual F1, just they sound really cool. And it's got that different kind of noise when it's on the low gears. So I heard that and it sounded awesome. So I actually can't wait to be honest. Um, I'll probably make this my final lap of practice and then I'll go into qualifying. As I said, I've only spent like 10 minutes on this practice session. I really haven't put too much effort into it, but <laughs> I should probably focus a bit more when it's qualifying. Um, it's a bit hard to put a lot of effort into this because I still don't like the track. Alright, yeah, I can't comment on it, yeah. Yeah, I still haven't played it. I can't wait to play the actual game. There should be a lot of gameplay coming up pretty soon of it. Not on my channel because I don't have the beta or anything, but um, yeah, through like, I think Codemasters, I think they're releasing some gameplay, gameplay soon. We saw that Red Bull stuff. That was kind of part of a promotion that Max Verstappen did or whatever. Um, couldn't see too much. They didn't really have any actual gameplay of it. It was just a bit of the visuals, but I don't know. It looked pretty good. I just, I can't wait for that. Um, that and Project Cars 2, they're the two games that I'm going to be getting this year. Basically, that's all I'm going to need, to be honest. I'll get my F1 through this, and then kind of GT, more serious racing, will be on Project Cars, so... It should be a lot of fun. I'm going to make a lot of videos on those games as soon as they came out. Oh, well, come out, yeah. I'll probably be live-streaming F1 once it comes out. I'll be doing that, like, every single day, so... Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be good fun. Alrighty, here we go. I said I'll try focus a bit more instead of talking too much, but I have not been focusing at all. <laughs> uh -huh, that's fine. It's just practice anyway. Um, as well, like, I've tried to be talking in the comments during the races, because this is the fourth round or whatever that I've done this. So before I haven't had commentary on it, and it's made it pretty hard to talk and it's not been too interesting, so that's why I'm doing it like this, so... I'll try and make the most of commentary, I'll try talk and engage with you all, but... I also still want to focus and do pretty well, so I don't know. It's going to be a bit of a... tough thing to balance all that. Um, there we go, I'll finish practice like that. It looks like I'm pretty quick. I don't know. I'll have to end the session and see where I am. I'm on a different tire compound as well. Alrighty. Yeah, is that right? Quicker than my teammates, so that's fine. I'll take that. Uh, you know what? Alright, so I'm not gonna like leave this race off where I crash. I'll try, if I crash on the first few laps, I'll definitely restart. Um, that actually happened on my last few races as well. Any other games you play, or is this the main game that I play? Um, I actually don't play this game too much. I really don't. I used to play it a lot because I was doing league racing on this, so I was having a lot of fun. I was doing pretty well as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, 
I, it's hard to talk whilst I'm racing because whenever I do, I've I've watched some of my streams back, and whenever I talk when I'm racing, I always crash. But that's fine. Oh, there's another practice session. Oh, I'll just skip through that. There's no point doing that. Alrighty, so back to the other question. Do I play any other games? Yeah, I don't play this game too much. Um, most of the stuff that I do on this is career, so I don't... Yeah, I'm not like... I've, I'm not doing any league races on it at the moment. Um, most of the games that I play, I play because I do league racing on them, so I'm doing project cars at the moment. And I've pretty much spent like the last few months just playing that game. Check his stats out. I haven't played F1 too much, so this is kind of, over the last few weeks I've started doing this career mode and that's pretty much the first time I've played this game in ages, so yeah. I just jump on it once every couple of days and play the career mode. It's still good fun, like, it's a good game, it's not too good online, and I guess that's kind of why I stopped playing it, because when you play it online, it's just... Uh, ever played Forza Horizon 3? No, I haven't. I'm on PlayStation. I don't know if... Do they have Forza on PlayStation? I think that's just Xbox, so... Yeah, I played one of the Forzas a while ago at one of my friend's houses, and it was pretty fun, but... Yeah, I don't have it on this. Alrighty, this is actually qualifying now, so I'll try focus a bit more. Here we go. I don't think it's rain. Nope, nice and sunny. Alrighty, so I'll, I promise I will not talk on my qualifying laps, because, well I'll talk before them, obviously right now I'm talking, and I'll talk after them, but I'll try focus a lot and get some decent laps in. Oh, I didn't know, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, here we go. I will stop talking now. Oh, well I guess I can still talk on the straight, that's fine. Alrighty, so I got a I got a few more seconds of talking. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, I'm on PlayStation. I don't really find any difference between PlayStation or Xbox, I don't really mind, but alrighty, stop talking. It's so hard not to talk when I have a mic. <laughs> Alright. I'll focus. I'll focus. That's a good corner. Oh, I've gone wide. That's alright. That's a good thing about this track as well. The only good thing about it, like... When you go wide or anything, you can just basically get on the throttle and use all the... off-track space that you have, so... It's way too generous, to be honest. Alright, this has not been a very good lap. I know that. I've made a lot of mistakes. I said I wasn't going to talk, but I have been talking, and I've made some mistakes. So, I'll try focus more in this last sector. Let's see. That wasn't too good. I only have to get out of the bottom like five or whatever to go into the next qualifying session, so hopefully I'll still make it through. Alright, there we go. Ever liked Xbox? Um, I've never had Xbox, but as I said earlier, I don't really care. Like, I, um, I don't think that PlayStation's the best thing ever. I don't think that Xbox is. I don't really find too much of a difference between them, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't really mind what I play on. Um, to me, Xbox is fine, PlayStation is fine, it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, they all do the same job, I guess. Um, the only thing I'd be able to say which is better is PC, but I don't have that, so <laughs> yeah. The thing about, like, Xbox and everything, consoles, they're pretty much on the same level, but then when you go on to PC and everything, there's you can spend a lot more money on it. I don't have the money to spend, so I don't have a really nice PC, but... Yeah, for the people that do and play that, I've watched some games on PC compared to PlayStation and the difference in quality is crazy, like... I don't know, it's a bit weird. It's like looking back and if you've ever had one of the last-gen consoles and you watch that and then watch the new one, it just looks so tacky. <laughs> and that's what it kind of looks like if you watch PC, so... Yeah, I'm fine with Xbox, I'm fine with PlayStation, but I don't really have a favourite. I don't mind too much. 
Um, I need to focus more now because I'm actually in the elimination zone. That was a really bad lap, the last lap I did, so hopefully I get out of qualifying. <laughs> That'd be pretty embarrassing. Alright, I'll literally, I'm going to focus on this lap. I won't be talking on this lap. I'm going to make it a nice lap. Alright. That was a good first sector. Sector corner, you know what I mean. Alright, I feel that was a bit better. There's a bit of pressure here because if I mess up the lap, I might be out of qualifying. It's going alright so far. Okay. Yep, that was pretty good. That should be enough to keep me safe, I guess. It wasn't a great lap, but it wasn't too bad. I didn't really make any mistakes. I'll just try not to attack this last sector too much. There we go. I think I might have saved myself. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. There we go, that's P12 then. So that should be it through to the next session. I'm happy with that. Alright. As I said, I don't want to spend too much time on all of the qualifying and practice. I just kind of want to get into the race and have some fun, so. There we go, that's qualifying one done. I have made it through. I'm happy about that, because I don't like this track, but still the AI, they don't seem to be too quick, so. That's alright. Got a fresh set of tyres as well. I'm not going to do any different strategy. I'm not going to qualify on any different tyres or anything, I don't know too much about that, I don't really, I've never raced at this track, oh well I have, but I haven't raced much, so it's not like I know what to do. <laughs> Alright, I still want to talk, but it's a lot harder when I'm doing qualifying, because I have to focus a lot more, so yeah. If you still have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them, that's kind of why I have the mic on and everything, so I can talk and have some more fun because it was a bit boring for me when I was doing the live streams and I didn't have a mic so I was just kind of racing not being able to talk with anyone that was watching so I don't know here we go though qualifying two this is probably the most important one because basically if, if I make it into the top 10 that's really good for me um not because I struggle to get into the top 10, but because of the car, <laughs> so it's a Toro Rosso, it's not the best. So yeah, that's pretty much my goal, if I make it into this top 10, I'll be happy. Oh, I've made a mistake. That's that lap probably screwed. Alright, that wasn't a very good lap, like... There's still a sector to go, but I went wide on one of the corners in the first sector, so... I think that's pretty much going to cost me a place in the top 10. I'll do another one straight after this on the same set of tyres, so... Oh, I accidentally cut that corner a bit. Alright, I don't think this lap's going to be good enough to see me into Q3, but... As I said, I'll do another lap straight away, so... I won't stop, I'll go again right now. Let's see. Alright, fifth place. That's actually, that's pretty good. I think the last sector was really good, yeah. I don't know how that happened. 
Alright, I'll still do another lap because I'm not sure I'll be safe with that, but... Alright, where are... So, sixth place, yeah, I think there's still a lot of quick guys that haven't set laps, so... I'm not sure that sixth place could end up pretty far down quite soon, so... Wasn't the best first sector that time. I'm not sure I'm going to improve on this lap, so... Alright, it looks like I might be free to Q3. This lap hasn't been the best, so I think that first one might have just saved me a bit, but... Actually, it's looking pretty good, to be honest. Uh, that was a pretty bad lap, the first one, but somehow I'm sixth place. I'll take that. Alright, there's a comment. I will read that as soon as I finish this lap. It's almost over. This is the last sector. I've gone a bit wide. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to improve on that lap. So, the comment, did you do you post every weekend if you have time to check out my channel? And I'm still trying to go grow. Alright. Um, I'm actually trying to post every day, to be honest. I'm making a lot of videos. <laughs> um, I made one lot yesterday, I made one the day before, the day before. So, I'm racing a lot, I have a lot of free time at the moment, so I'm just trying to make the most of it by racing as much as I can. Um, yeah, I'm trying to grow as well, to be honest. It's not the best channel that I have here, but I like it. A couple of people seem to enjoy it, so I'll keep making videos. Alright, there we go. Into Q3. I'm pretty happy with that. My teammate is already knocked out, so I've beaten my teammate in qualifying again, that's pretty nice to see. Yeah, so, do I post every weekend? Yeah, I pretty much post every day, mate, to be honest. I've been making a lot of videos, probably too many, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, most of my videos are on Project Cars, because I've been playing that a bit more, but still, I like to do videos on F1. Most of them are this career mode that I do. This is only my fourth race in this anyway, so I only started this a couple of weeks ago, I think. And then I also just do a few public lobbies where I, like, commentate and just have some fun racing in that, so... Yeah. That's a good thing about being a small channel as well, like... I don't really have to worry a bit if people don't watch a video, because then it's fine. I just go make a new video the next day and hopefully it goes a bit better, so... I'm still enjoying making all the races. I, I race anyway. I, it's not like I race to make the videos. I race and then decide to make videos about the racing because I enjoy the racing, so... It just, it kind of feels right to keep making videos, so I'm fine with it. I always enjoy it as well, look, so... Like, it's nice to just sit back, kind of relax, have a bit of racing, and then talk with some people whilst doing a live stream, so... It's always good fun. Alrighty. I'll focus a bit more now, because the lap's underway. Hopefully I don't go wide here. Alright, that wasn't... Oh, shit, I've lost a lot of time in that first sector. I'm, like, seven tenths down or something, so... This might not be the best lap, but as I said before, the goal was to get into Q3. And I'm already into Q3, so I'm happy with that. I don't really mind where I finish apart from that, because... I've beaten my teammate into Q3, set some decent laps, so... I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'll focus a bit more on this last sector, try and make up any time that I can. It's going alright. That was a pretty nice lap, to be honest. Alright, I'll go again, I'll do another lap straight away and see if I can improve on it, because that'll probably be my last chance. This is the last lap of qualifying for me. Hopefully it goes well. That first lap's put me into 7th place, I'm not... Oh, no, that's 8th, so... It wasn't a great lap, I know that, but... Still, I'm ahead of a couple of people.
That was a lot nicer, that first sector. I think that was pretty quick. There we go. Half a second up in that first sector. This could be a good lap. Hopefully I can get into the top six or something. Alright, this has been nice. A lot better than my first one. Hitting pretty much every apex. I think I'm almost a second up to be honest, that was a really good lap. Let's see, hopefully I don't mess it up in the final sector, I probably will. I'll try not. No, I'm not a second up, I'm half a second up. Where's that come from? Focus. Oh, that was pretty good. Pushing the boundaries there. Alrighty, there we go. How's it gone? Oh, that's great. Well, it's not great. It's P7, but I'm happy with that, to be honest. Improved by almost 7 tenths. Alright, yeah, I want to talk too when I do my videos, but I don't know how to do commentary on a live video. Alright, um... It's actually pretty, pretty easy, to be honest. Like... I, I'm not the best YouTuber, I know that. I'm not the best commentator, but it's still, yeah, it's not too hard to do so. Um, on Xbox, actually, that might be a bit different because PlayStation is pretty easy to record and do it live and everything, so it's pretty much made my life really easy in terms of making videos. There's just a little button that I have to click. You go live, you, I've plugged in a mic, I'm just talking through my mic, and then that's pretty much it. It does all the work for you, so. I'm not sure if there's anything like that on Xbox, but, yeah. Alrighty, there we go, so 7th place in qualifying. The race is about to start, i still got my computer open, so I'll be able to read the comments during the race and I will talk. I'll try focus on the first few laps. Um, if I crash on the first few laps, I'll probably restart, because, well, it's a 100% race, so I'll keep going as long as I can. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, i got to load up the next session. If you're just about to watch, you are in time for the race start, so it should be good fun. It's Russia. Normally at Russia, at turn one, there's a lot of crashes, so hopefully I avoid it. I'm pretty much right in the midfield as well starting this race, so I don't know. It's going to be pretty hard, but hopefully it goes all right. Here we go. It's not raining, so I'm happy about that. Alright, starting P7. Okay, I, the tyres are going to last pretty much the entire race, so that's that's nice to see. Don't really have to worry about that. Okay, let's do it without any more talking. Well, I will talk into turn one. I'll probably be raging because I'll crash, but we'll see. Here we go. Oh, the pressure's on. That was a pretty good start. That was a good start, actually. It looks like I've just taken one of the Ferraris off the line. <laughs> I'm alright with that. Um, someone's crashed behind me. Someone's still crashing. I can't overtake anyone because it's yellow flags. Felipe Massa has died. Alright. P6. Not too bad. I'll try to stay with that Williams. Like, the last few races, if you've seen them, I've kind of just stayed with the Williams and kind of used its drag a bit to keep me ahead of everyone else, so I'll try to do that again. But there is a Ferrari behind me, so I'm not sure I stand too much of a chance of keeping him behind. As I said though, the main goal of this race and all of the races I'm doing in this career mode is to finish in the top 10. If I finish in the top 10, I'll be happy. Um, hi to the person who has just commented hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I don't know too much else to say about that, but thanks for watching, I hope you're enjoying it. There's a few people tuning in, so that's good to see. It's the start of the race, so I'd expect that. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I will have a look at your channel. Yes, I can't do it right now because I'm racing. Oh no, I almost crashed. Oh, I've lost a position there, goodbye to the Ferrari. That's actually not gone as bad as I thought it would, to be honest, because I could have ended up in the wall there. Alright, I should probably try focus a bit more. I'm going to keep talking. I can't stop talking. <laughs> um, 
I could try, but I'll still end up talking anyway, so hopefully that doesn't make me lose too much focus, but it's actually been a pretty good start to this race. Yeah, I'll do it after the stream, I'll check out. Um, it's, yeah, I will. <laughs> I will check out your channel for sure, mate. Alright, here we go. P7. Oh god, no. Oh, Jesus. I've almost hit the back of so many cars on this first few laps. I'm just braking way too late. I'm braking like I would for a qualifying lap and then forgetting that there's actually a car in front of me. I'll try to catch back up to them. I'll do a 100% Monaco Grand Prix. I actually tried that a few days ago. Oh, not days ago, like a few weeks ago. I tried to do Monaco on a 100% race. And I made it into like 50 laps into the race and then I crashed into a wall and retired. And I was live streaming it as well and there was like quite a few people watching it. That was so annoying. Because it was going really well. I was like in the top four or something. And then I crashed out and oh, that was just the worst race ever. I hated that so much, but... <laughs> Hopefully this race goes well. Thank you for subscribing, I'm happy about that. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, there's a long way to go in this race, so... I wouldn't mind it if you left and came back a bit later, but... Here we go, this is actually a pretty good start to the race, to be honest. Um, the Ferrari's still battling ahead without Williams, so... I've kind of just caught up to them a bit. I'll try not make too many mistakes, but... Yeah, I've actually... So this is the fourth round, as you can see in the title. And it's Russia, so it's the fourth race, but I've actually got pretty lucky in this career mode, to be honest, so far, so I haven't actually cracked out in any of the races. They're all 100%, they're all live streams, so you'll be able to see if I do make the crash, and I have actually, but that was only on, like, the first lap, so. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Oh, there's an overtake in front. That guy's just got completely destroyed by the Ferrari. Who was that? I think it's a Vettel. Oh, shit. <laughs> I kind of, I don't really want to overtake Bottas, I kind of want to chill behind him and then use his slipstream a bit, but still, if I have the pace, I will make a move. It's going pretty good, P7 so far, a few laps in, I haven't crashed, I'm happy with that. It's a nice start to the race. Oh, I'm actually feeling pretty quick, to be honest, I don't know if this... That's because I'm pushing a bit too hard, but we'll see, the tyres, they're supposed to last for a long time, so normally the only reason that I drop positions in this career mode is because my tyres wear a bit too much, but with this, the tyres should last a lot longer, so I'll be able to push for longer as well, so hopefully that's good. Well, here we go, making a move on Bottas. Please don't hit me out, mate. There we go. Alrighty, that's sixth place, I'm happy with that. He'll probably overtake me in the next few corners, but that's fine. I'll see if I can kind of stick with this Ferrari, maybe get DRS. That would help me out a lot, but then again, it's a Ferrari, and I'm a Toro Rosso, so I don't stand too much of a chance. Yeah, I think he might already be away from me in terms of the DRS. And it looks like I'm about to get overtaken by Bottas now, <laughs> because that's a Williams. He'll have DRS, I will not, and he'll be a lot faster than me on this straight. Let's see. Well, I say that, actually, he hasn't even got close. Alright. That's a bit weird. Hopefully I can catch up to the Ferrari then. I'll try focus a bit now. I'll probably slow down with the commentating a bit, so that I can just make sure that the racing is good. Um, I don't think I'm going to catch up to that Ferrari. He's already like a second and a half away, so... I don't stand too much of a chance there. I guess if I got into the DRS range on the lap before, I probably could have just about hung on. But not anymore, to be honest. I say that like it's disappointing. He's a Ferrari, he's in P5. I can't complain too much. As I said before, I don't really like this track. My goal on this race is to finish in the top 10. So right now in P6, it looks like I might be able to do that. The Williams is right behind me now. Oh, this is... I'm gonna get overtaken soon, I know that. 
He was pretty slow on the last straight, but I'm not too sure why, so. Here we go. Oh, that's also, that Williams is a lot quicker than this car as well, so. The Toro Rosso, it's about the fourth fastest, fifth fastest car, I think. In the straight, I'm going to get completely destroyed, but we'll see. No, it looks like he's, he's still pretty far behind, actually. I don't know what it is, but on that last corner, he just keeps getting a really bad exit, so I'm able to stay ahead of him. Alright, five laps into this race now. That's gone pretty quickly. There is a comment, and I will read it. Um, will you sub to me after the race? I'll check out your channel, mate, for sure, yeah. No problem about that. If you've got racing on your channel, then I will definitely be watching it. Because <laughs> I love racing. Alright, there's another comment. I'll try to read them. That one looks pretty big, so it'll be a bit harder to read it, but I'll still give it a go. Oh, okay. For Xbox, there is an option to do a stream, but... I don't know how to, alright. You can maybe just Google it then, like, that's the only, that's the way that I learned how to live stream, because I actually had no idea how, and I just chucked it on Google, found out how you do it on PlayStation, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be, so. That's why I'm doing a lot of live streams now, because it's really easy to do. Um, you have racing, but not the best quality, that's fine. As long as it's racing, I watch a lot of racing, I do a lot of racing, so. Yeah, I don't mind what quality it is. Oh, here we go. I've actually been overtaken by Bottas. <laughs> I didn't realise it, but I have been overtaken. Hopefully I can get him back on this straight. Um, is there, there's a game called F1 Manager, which is on tablet. Alright. Um, I've played, you know, Motorsport Manager? That's probably the same kind of thing. So, I played that on my PC. My PC is really bad, but... Oh, I need to focus a bit. There's an overtake going on. Oh no! Oh, I've been taken out! Oh, oh my god! What? Oh no! Oh, it's, oh, and there's a safety car. What? Oh, one of the Ferraris is dead as well. What has just happened? Oh my god! I think two people have just retired. I've been hit by the Williams. Now I have front wing damage, so I'm going to have to pit as well. Oh, that is terrible. I've just gone from like 6th place to 12th now. Oh no. Alright. That is pretty, that was crazy. I don't know what happened there. I got taken out and then I was stuck on the track and then I got hit by someone else. I actually have no idea how I'm still alive after that. <laughs> that was crazy. He hit me at full speed, but... Jeez. Alright. At least I get a bit of a break now. I can kind of relax. That was mental. Okay, so one of the Ferraris is dead then, so I think that might have been Raikkonen. And then, who was it? I think I was racing with Bottas and he hit me as well. He's retired. That is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I'm really lucky. I don't know how I got away with it, but... That was insane. That was probably the biggest crash I've ever had, to be honest. Jeez. I came out of nowhere as well. Alright, I'll pit this lap in the safety car. Um, it looks like I'm going to rejoin 14th, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now I have a lot of work to do. The first few races in this crew have gone pretty easily. I've kind of just stayed at the level where I'd like and then finished in the points. But here, six laps in, I'm in 12th place. I'm going to have to pit because I have front wing damage, so... Oh god. Alrighty, well, let's not speed into the pit lane. Um, one more sub, Monaco 100% Saturday. Alright, that'll be cool. I'll watch that, yeah, tell me what time you're live streaming and I'll watch that, so. That'll be fun to watch. Alright, I'm pitting now because my front wing is completely destroyed. It looks like I might actually come out in last place in this race. So, <laughs> I'm 19. Alright, so I'm in 19th place. I've gone from 6th to 19th in one lap. All because bloody Bottas took me out. 
Alright, I have a lot of work to do now. I should probably focus a bit more, but there's a few laps before the safety car goes in, so... That's okay. Um, don't live stream live com. Ah, oh, so live commentary of it then? Wait, I'm not- I don't understand that. Oh, that sucks. Have faith. Yeah, I will have faith. It's- a, there's still a long race to go. Yeah, I'm 50 odd laps, so... Hopefully, I can make up a few positions and try and just about get back into the points, but... As I said, I was- I was in a really good position. I was in 6th place. I had the pace, so it kind of looked like I'd be able to finish nice and high up in that race, but... Well, no, because now I'm in pretty much last. Jeez. Alright, so if anyone's just watching, you've just missed missed probably the biggest crash I've ever had a couple of laps ago. Um, I was, I'd just overtaken Bottas for like P6, I think it was. And then he turned in on me. We both crashed on the long sweeping corner. And then I got hit by a Ferrari whilst I was on the side of the road just sitting there. He hit me at like full speed. He retired, Bottas retired, no one else has retired because it's only 20 drivers left. But basically like four people crashed and now I'm in last place. Oh wait, Bottas hasn't retired. He's behind me. Okay, so Bottas is still alive. I think it was another Williams that retired, so maybe Massa's, Massa's died. I don't know. That's a bit weird. Alrighty. Well, here we go. This is... It's going to be pretty hard. Um, what time you start streaming with on F1 2017? Um, I don't have the game because it isn't out yet. So, whenever it comes out, I'll probably buy it like the day or two after its release. I'll be getting it as soon as I can, but I'm not going to be pre-ordering it because that'll cost way too much. So, pretty much, I'll probably have it in the first week or so when it's released. And then I'll be doing live streams on it as soon as it gets to my door so yeah I'll buy I'm definitely buying the game because I'm doing a league race on that as well I've already got a league lined up for F1 2017 so that should be great fun um, and I'll be practicing as soon as it comes out so I'll be doing a career mode on it I'll live stream the races like I'm doing with this one I'll try commentate on it as well and it should be a lot of fun to be honest I kind of can't wait for that to come out so yeah, basically, as soon as that comes out, I'll probably be stopping this career mode and just moving on to F1 2017 and doing a career mode on that. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for a car. I'm not sure what car I want to pick, to be honest. Um, I don't want to pick a car that's too slow, because I don't want to be sitting at the back all the time, but I don't want to pick, like, Mercedes or anything and just win every single race, so... I don't know. But, yeah, in terms of when I'm going to be live streaming, as soon as it comes out, I will be live streaming on it. Alrighty, the safety car is coming in soon. Not on this lap. Mass has just tried to overtake me even though it's a safety car. I don't know what he's doing. Oh wait, that's Bottas. Same person, come on. Um, everyone... <laughs> come on. There's only six people... There's five people watching. I don't think you're going to get too many people subscribed to your channel from commenting on this. But yeah, here we go. Alright, it looks like there's another lap under the safety car again. Um, I'm on the quickest set of tyres, so... Alright, maybe Renault. Yeah, I reckon I'd be able to do Renault. Actually, I like their 2017 car. It looks really cool. Um, Hulkenberg's doing really well as well, so it's competitive. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. I'd, I'd be able to do Renault in career mode. So yeah, there we go. I think that's it then. For 2017, I will be doing a career mode with Renault. That should be good fun. Because, yeah, they're like, they're kind of like Toro Rosso, to be honest. They're just about in the points, unless you're Palmer. <laughs> um, they should be able to finish in the points pretty much every race. It'll be a challenge to get in the top three. I kind of need to do a lot of development and stuff as well. Yeah, that could be good fun. Alrighty, there we go. Um, it looks like this is the last lap of the safety car. So, should be getting racing underway again. Um... I've got a lot of work to do. I am 19th still, so pretty much last place. And I'm going to basically need to overtake about 10 people if I want to finish in the points, so it's going to be pretty crazy. There's still, what, 45 laps to go, so... I believe I can do it, but it's just going to take a lot of effort, to be honest, and I'll need some good luck as well. 
Hopefully next time I try to overtake someone, they don't take me out like bloody Bottas did. And he's right behind me as well. If he takes me out again, I swear I'm just going to rage quit. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The safety car's in this lap. So the race is about to get underway again. It should be good fun. Ooh. Alrighty. I'll try to overtake as many people as I can on the start. This is Button in front of me, so he's in a McLaren. That shouldn't be too hard to do. <laughs> um, I'll have to overtake all the Sauber's, the Manners again. It's going to be a pretty crazy first few laps here, I think. But here we go. I'll try focus a bit more. I'll probably stop commentating for a bit, but it's green flag, so the race is going again. Alright. I'll be aggressive, I'll try and make some overtakes, but I don't want to get hit out, so... Alright, that was not a good start. <laughs> I've just cut the first corner. Someone's just pitted, so I'm not sure what that's about. That's definitely the wrong time to pit, as soon as the safety car goes into the pits. Um, that McLaren Honda's pretty quick on the straights. Oh, I've dive-bombed him, so see you later, mate. Alrighty, there we go, that's the first position back. I'm up to 17th now. I say that like it's a good thing. There's still a lot of work to do here. Um, goodbye to the Sauber. These guys are going side by side in front of me. That could end pretty badly. Dive bomb them. Man has just turned in on me. Don't know what that's about. There we go. That's already like four places in the first lap, so I'm happy with that. I don't want to stay behind them for too long. Also, most of them are on the soft compound tyre as well, so... With me on the new super soft, I should be able to just fly past them. Having said that, this guy's just blocking me off. Alright, here we go. I'll stay in Ridge. I'll try to overtake him as soon as I can. Um, the car behind me is actually catching up. I can see him in my mirror, so... That's a bit concerning. Oh, that was a pretty good overtake. See you later. Alrighty, 14th. I thought this was going to be hard to get back into the points. I've actually almost got back into the points after one lap. <laughs> um, I don't know what that's about. Just to confirm, this is on the hardest difficulty, so I can't really complain, but I think that maybe the cars in front have some damage and it's just holding everyone up or something. I'm not too sure. Um, what's up? Good racing. Hey, thanks. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. This is the first time that I've commentated, I think, on uh, F1 career mode or whatever, so... Oh, a Ferrari's dead. There's been a massive crash again. Ferrari and one of the Mercedes have just crashed into each other on the straight. That is crazy. Alright, so there's actually quite a lot of points here then. If I can finish high up, I might overtake those guys in the standings. Oh, there's another crash. They've just hit each other. This race is insane. Everyone is crashing into each other. Oh, there we go. Looks like I've just taken him. That is P10, so I am back into the points. After being last a couple of laps ago, I've now overtaken nine people in two laps, and I'm into the points, so I'm happy with that. That's pretty great. There's still a lot of slow cars ahead of me. Um, there could be a really good finish on the cards here. There's still a long way to go in this race, though, so I'll try not to get too far ahead of myself. Just imagine where I could have been if I did not crash on those first few laps. I could be like fourth place right now. I might have got a po podium or something. But... Alrighty, there we go. That's ninth. These cars are still fighting each other. I should be able to dive bomb him. There we go. <laughs> this is going really well, I have to say. That's like 11 people in just a few laps. This is pretty easy to do. They're still quite slow, like the Haas cars and everything, they're, what, 7th and 6th, but they're one of the slowest cars that there are, so... It's a really crazy race here. But I'm doing pretty well. Um, there is a comment, I will read it. These guys are about to overtake each other, there could be a double overtake here. Oh! <laughs> I'll try break nice and early, not crash into anyone. There we go then, 7th place. Someone's going really slow on the back straight. If you can see on the minimap there, I think that might be one of the Ferraris that had like a puncture or something a few laps ago. 
So his race, race is then completely ruined. He's basically a lap down. Um, there's only one of the Renaults and then fifth. It just seems like every car in front of me I can overtake, so I might get a really good finish in this race, actually. Maybe I'll be able to finish higher than that fourth place I got in Bahrain, so that'd be pretty good. Wouldn't be too bad to get a podium with Toro Rosso in, like, my fourth race, but we'll see. Anything can happen. Um, I should be overtake, able to overtake him. He doesn't have DRS now. It should be pretty simple, to be honest. Get that move done. And that's sixth place. Alright, if anyone's watching and you're wondering what's happened to all of the fast drivers, um, they've basically all crashed. <laughs> so, on the first few laps, I think one of the Ferraris crashed. Um, a couple of laps late, later, one of the... Williams crashed and then I crashed with one of the Williams and then the Ferrari and Mercedes crashed so basically everyone in this race has crashed and we're only 10 laps in <laughs> it's pretty insane but now it, it's gone well for me because I'm in sixth place that's about 13 overtakes I've done in the last four laps I think alrighty there we go oh I've gone deep in that corner that's a mistake at least I'll let him back through. Hopefully I can overtake him again. Um, my teammate's in fourth place, I think. That's insane. That just shows how crazy this race is, because I qualified way ahead of him. Alrighty, Palmer's in fourth place. Are you joking? Oh my god. What is this race? <laughs> so Jolly and Palmer, the guy who hasn't even finished in the points in any of the, the actual F1 races this season, he is in fourth place. He's almost on the podium. What the hell is happening here? This is the weirdest race I've ever had, I think. That is so strange. <laughs> Alright. I need to focus here, because I can actually get on the podium here. This could be a crazy race. Okay. Here we go. Surely I'll be able to catch up to Palmer. It's not like he's very quick or anything. He's, he's in a Renault, let's be honest. And he's Jolly and Palmer, so... Um, one of the worst drivers on the grid. <laughs> I can say that. Because I don't think anyone can argue, to be honest. Come on, let's be honest. How many races has he had, and he has not finished in the points yet? When his teammate, Nico Hülkenberg, has been finishing... pretty high up in every race. I'm talking about real F1, to be honest, by the way, so... I'm not talking about my career mode, I'm just saying Palmer is a bad driver. Well, not a bad driver, he's just not a great driver. Um, that might make a few people angry, but that's just my opinion, to be honest. Um, which one? Haven't seen it. Wait, are you talking to me now? I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, no, that was someone else. Alright, don't worry. Okay. I need to focus here, because <laughs> one of the Ferraris has just been lapped by Jolie and Palmer. I don't know what that's about, that's a bit insane. Um, done them two twice, you get 14 mil, ah, oh, you're talking about Forza, I think, alright, I don't know much about Forza, I've never had Forza, so I can't say anything about that. Alright, I need to focus a bit more, because I could catch up to these guys and maybe get on the podium if I have some good laps, who knows. Um, if you've just started watching this race, um, this has been, without a doubt, the craziest race I've ever had. Um, already, I think about, like, ten people have crashed. Um, Jolly and Palmer's in fourth place. My teammate is in third place. And just to remind you, this is Toro Rosso. So, they've only finished in the podium places as a team a couple of times, to be honest. And right now, it looks like we're on for another one. So... Yeah, it's a crazy race. I don't know what's going on. I'm in 5th place and I was 19th after a few laps. That just kind of describes how mental this race has been. Jolly and Palmer's almost lapping a Ferrari, so... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's insane. I don't know what too much else to say. It's just insane. This is, without a doubt, the craziest race I've ever had. Um, it looks like I'm about to overtake Palmer. For fourth place, I think that'd be. Yeah. And he's just lapped a Ferrari again. 
That Ferrari crashed a few laps ago with one of the Mercedes, so that's a bit weird. Um, it happened in front of me, so that was quite funny to see. Alrighty. I'm about to lap a Ferrari in the Toro Rosso. On the hardest difficulty. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I know it came in a bit of a weird way, but you know what? I'll take it. Alright, can I catch up to Palmer? I'm closing in on him, so that should be good. I also, I still want to finish ahead of my teammate. And my teammate's in third place. And that's a Toro Rosso in third place. I can see him on the minimap. He's well ahead, so... If I can finish on ahead of him, then I would be on the podium in my fourth race. And that'd be pretty crazy. Yes, this is on ultimate difficulty, the hardest difficulty. Um, if you don't believe me, I'm not sure why you wouldn't, but if you don't, then you can re-watch the start of this stream. I actually showed it live. I showed that it was on ultimate difficulty. I went into the settings, started practice and everything, so... Yeah, a couple of people said that in the last race, because I finished, like, fifth place or whatever. And people were wondering, am I actually on ultimate difficulty? Yes, I am, so... Um, I'm using assists, I should say that. That's probably one of the reasons why it's so easy, to be honest, because I have... Um, medium traction control on. I pretty much race with that all the time because it's the fastest thing to do and because I've done a lot of re league racing where the assists are actually open um, I've made most of the assists and used it. You don't believe I'm on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> oh no, that was a joke. Alright, thank you for the compliment. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was really weird on the last race like there were so many people who were commenting and they were saying, oh, you're definitely not on Ultimate or whatever. I was like, well, I am, so I don't know what you're talking about because I always race on Ultimate. On Project Cars, I always race on 100%. I always race on whatever the hardest difficulty is. So, yeah, there we go. That's, that's that. Um, I'm about to overtake Palmer for P4, it looks like, so that'll be pretty <laughs> happy. Um, just ignore those people. Yeah, I will. I did. I actually, I think I blocked them from the stream as well, so they can't watch any of my videos again. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was pretty funny. So yeah, they were just talking so many things in the comments. They were saying like, oh, you're not a quick driver. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then he was saying, oh yeah, you want to turn the difficulty up? I was like, there is no higher setting. It was, it was pretty funny. You should have watched that race. It was, it was like comedy, to be honest, in those first few laps, because I was just kind of having a live fight with some people who were commenting. <laughs> but happily enough, in this race, no one is fighting me. Um, I'd be slamming all those walls. <laughs> yeah. Um, to be fair, I think I've crashed a few times in this race, to be honest. It's not been the best driving. It doesn't help that I'm trying to, trying to commentate. It does make it a lot harder, I have to say. But it's a lot more fun. It's more interesting for people watching. It's more interesting for me because I can talk to you all and it's more engaging, so... Yeah, I think it's way better to have commentary on. Um, I think a Ferrari's trying to overtake me, but he's a lap down, so I'm not sure what that's about. He can just go away. Alrighty. Yeah, commentating makes it fun. That's the thing, like... I love commentating, because I'm not the best at speaking or anything. It's not like I'm a entertainer or anything, but... It's still, just on live streams, even with a bit of commentary, it makes it a lot easier to talk to the people in the comments. We can have conversations, like, imagine if I wasn't commentating on this race. Um, I wouldn't be able to talk to you, because I'd be trying to race and type at the same time, and it just wouldn't work, so... Yeah, it'd be a bit boring, so... I think, even if the racing's a bit... Um, a bit slower, like, I make more mistakes when I'm commentating, and the commentator... Well, what am I talking about now? See... <laughs> It's, it's not as good, but it's still a lot more interesting for just the stream, the race. It's a long race, so it's nice to have some people to talk to as well. That makes it a lot better. Um, this Ferrari's still trying to overtake me, even though he's a lap down. That's kind of hurting me, because I'm trying to overtake Palmer, who's only a few corners ahead. But, yeah. Um, if you're just tuning in now, because there's a few people who have just started racing... Um, <laughs> I should explain what's happening, because, okay, this is on the hardest difficulty, this is a 100% race, hello, <laughs> senpai, um, and Palmer is in P3, I need to say, Jolly and Palmer is in third position, so basically, 
a lot of the top guys, they all crashed into each other and it's opened up a lot of positions for everyone else, so jo um, Sines is now, I think he's second? It's crazy. Um, goodbye Alex Lawton, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll still be racing for another few, well I would say hours, it's not, I think it would be about an hour left now, maybe? About half an hour into the race, so something like that. Um, yeah, the wheel I'm using is a T150. So I only bought it a few months ago, but I've been racing with it a lot and I love it. It's great fun, so I'm actually, I'm still quicker on my, um, just the gamepad. So the normal standard PS4 controller, I'm still quicker on that than on my racing wheel. It's a bit weird, but I have a lot more fun when I'm using my wheel, so I just try and make it so that I use that as much as I can and then I track practice with it get a bit faster. Every time I'm using my wheel I'm improving so it's nice to see. Um, this Ferrari is so annoying. He's a lap down. If ever he tries to overtake me I have to overtake him right away again. This is just weird but <laughs> I think Jolene Palmer is actually getting away from me now so. Um, oh you got it fixed. Yeah I fixed my wheel. Actually I think that was one of the problems like because I was doing that on public races that's when I had the issues with my wheel so I was commentating as well and the thing is it mostly only happened on the race starts yeah all right wait I can't do one hour races I get anxious oh <laughs> all right and anyways I'm out oh, okay all right see ya um that was I'm glad you enjoyed it hopefully you had fun um you could probably watch, I think YouTube saves the videos after it finishes the race, so if you want to watch the last few laps of this race, once it's finished, you'll be able to do that, so yeah, see ya, I hope you enjoyed it, it's been good fun, nice to talk to you again, um, goodbye, um, I'm saying goodbye to someone in the comments by the way, I'm not stopping the race, <laughs> alright, see ya, oh, I've gone wide there, and the Ferrari's just taken me, but he's still a lap down, so it doesn't really matter, um, yeah, I should... Don't shift so early, it annoys me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm used to project cars, which the shifting on that is a lot more different, because short shifting on that's way more important. It's important to manage the traction more. It saves the tires a lot, so I just kind of short shifts without even meaning to. Um, yeah, so that's what that's about. Also, it saves the engine, so on races like this, for long races, if you actually shift too late it just the engine overheats and then it makes you a lot slower at the end of the race so that's why I'm trying to short shift I guess yeah I'm not paying too much attention to be honest so that's probably why that's happening project car seems too realistic <laughs> yeah um, there's a massive difference between this game and project cars in terms of the simulation aspect of it this game it is by no means a racing sim so yeah, it's, it's good to race in this, it's still good fun, but um, racing in Project Cars for me it's a lot more interesting because it's the racing physics and everything, they're realistic, so yeah, I like that aspect of it. And I'm, I'm also actually a lot quicker on Project Cars in this game, so that's something as well that I kind of like. <laughs> um, whoa, I've almost crashed here. Am I looking forward to F1 2017? Yes, I am, without a doubt. I can't wait for that game. Um, still, it's a bit hard. I can't talk too much about it because I haven't actually seen any real gameplay, to be honest, because, well, they haven't released any game pro gameplay trailers. They've just had a few pictures of the cars. There was that Red Bull thing a few days ago, I think, where they released something, but you couldn't really tell too much, so... I don't know, I still don't know too much about the game, but it should be better than this year, obviously, so... Um, it should be good fun. Also, one of the most important things why I'm buying it is because I'm already involved in an F1 league for it, so I'm... I've already got a F1 2017 league sorted out that I'm racing in, so... That should be a lot of fun, I can't wait for that. I had I raced in the same league last year, on this game. That's the only reason I actually bought this game was because I was doing a racing league on it, so when I raced last year it was a lot of fun. I've learnt a lot since then, so I'm a lot quicker and I think I could actually probably challenge for the title. There's some really quick drives in that league, so yeah. Um, what was that in terms of the league? That was 
um, NORL, so Nemesis Online Racing League. Um, I was considering joining AOR, but I just I race with assists most of the time on this on this game because I don't practice too much. So yeah, that's what that's about. <laughs> um, NORL, so. You drove a defensive line. Alright, sorry if I drove a defensive line. I'm actually not focusing too much because I'm trying to talk a bit, so... The racing, it's not going to be too good. Um, join a AOR. Yeah, I'm thinking of joining AOR. I'm actually doing an AOR social race today. So, Friday, it starts at 8 o'clock GMT. I might live stream that, but I'm definitely going to record it. So, yeah, it's an AOR social ra race. I'm racing against, um, you know, the guy that won the F1? League, I think, the... Oh, he might not have won a bit. He's like Ali K or something. I don't know. I don't know too much about ARR. I don't, I don't really watch it, but... Yeah, I'm doing a race today. That's the first time I've even raced in AOR, so that should be good fun, but... The thing about that is I'd only join that league if I was racing in the top tier. And the top tier is without assists. I don't really have too much time to practice without assists, because... It takes a lot of time to practice. I don't really like that game too much, to be honest. I don't spend enough time on the F1 games to practice without assists and be competitive on it, so... Yeah, I do all of my racing on project cars is without assists because that's a lot quicker. And it's more realistic, so it's easier to jump on and be quick without assists on that game, but yeah, it's a bit weird. Alright, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll probably live stream it. I don't know. Um, I might not live stream that race because it'll be my first time in a competitive race where I'm racing without assists on, so... Plus, it's against some of the fastest drivers in the world because it's the AOR social races, so... Um, there's a few guys in that who are in the F1 league who are turning up, so that should be good fun. Um, <laughs> hopefully I don't get lapped in that race. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it should be good fun, so... Um, talking about... My wheel, the problem with that, that I had a few um, weeks ago, I think it was now. Basically, I was racing with my wheel whilst I st still had my gamepad turned on so that I could have my commentary plugged in. And that meant that, for some reason, the wheel just kept cutting out. I'm not sure. It's fixed now, but yeah, that's it. What's my favourite dream car? Um, are you talking about actual, like, F1 cars? Or... Just real life cars. If you're talking about real life cars, I, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not too interested in actual cars. To be honest, like I don't have a car because I'm only 18. I haven't, I don't have much money. I don't go many places, so I don't really need a car. Plus, I'm saving up money, so yeah. In terms of real life, if I say that I was rich or whatever, I'd probably buy. I don't know, maybe a Ferrari 458. I love them. They're like. As I said, I don't know too much about real cars, so I can't say much, but in terms of the looks, the sound, the I know it's a competitive car in GT3 and everything, so it's, yeah, it's a nice car, it's really quick, yeah. I love that car. Plus, I've watched a lot of videos, and it just, the sound of it is incredible, you could just, I could listen to it all day, to be honest, so, yeah, that's what that's about. It wouldn't be very practical, but <laughs> it'd be fun. Um, you're 18 as well, that's pretty cool, alrighty. Love the 458, yeah. It's just, in terms of cars that just look incredible, like, I could watch, I could get it to just watch it, to be honest. I wouldn't even mind if I didn't have enough money for fuel. I'd just be able to sit there and look at it all day. <laughs> um, Porsches, alrighty. Yeah, I like 911s, they're pretty nice. Um, yeah, they're, they're good on racing games. <laughs> As I said, most of the things that I know about cars is racing, like... In terms of real life cars, the only cars I'd really be able to comment on would be GT3. And I don't... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't say too much about that, to be honest, so... Most of what I do in racing is in terms of... F1 and track cars and stuff, so... Yeah, that's what that's about then. Um, I do like Porsches, they look nice. I'm not too sure about the sound of them, they... I don't know, it's just... I guess it's a bit too deep or something. Short shifting is giving me cancer. <laughs> Look, I... Alright, I could try... I'll do a couple of laps right now where I won't comment too much. I'll just try focus on the driving, but... I'm not too interested in... Um, like, kind of... What's the word? Just... Um, throttle... 
whatever it is. I don't know, I, I can't speak, but you know what I mean? Like, managing the throttle, I'm not working on that too much on this game because it's an arcade game, so I'm really not putting any effort into that. <laughs> um, and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm short shifting, like, it just, it makes it a lot easier to not crash, I guess. Um, yeah. This race has gone for a really long time, I have to say. The tyres are lasting for ages, so not much is happening right now. I've just noticed I'm in P3. I'm not sure what that's about. I thought I was in fourth place. Maybe Palmer pitted or something, so that's pretty cool. Um, alright, yeah. Um, if you're watching this and you're wondering why my driving is so bad, yeah, it's because I'm commentating a lot, like, I've already said that, but when I try commentate and drive at the same time, it's just, I'm not very quick, I make a lot of mistakes, so, yeah. Takes a while doing 50 lap races in general, yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> um, hey Sammy, how are you? I know you like commentary, I have commentary on this video, so hopefully you're enjoying it now. Well, oh, that was a mistake. Wait, what's that coming then? Ferrari 812. Last naturally aspirated V12 Ferrari. Oh, that's pretty cool. See, I don't I, I don't know that much about cars, so I can't say anything, but yeah, that's pretty cool, alright. I'll have a look at that then. Revealed in April, so well, it's got no pictures or anything. You're at school watching F1. Alright, thanks for that. <laughs> I'll take it. Best Ferrari, alrighty. Now uh, the best Ferrari is surely. The 2017 F1 car, mate. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Um, yeah, I should be pretty fine with doing 50 lap races. Like, it's only an hour and a half or whatever. And if you've watched my channel a bit, you'll see that on Project Cars, at least, I do races that are like six hours long. I do a lot of endurance races, so... That's probably why I'm pretty chilled out with doing 100% races, it's not that hard for me, but it just takes a long time, I guess. Plus with Project Cars, most of the endurance races I do on that, uh, when it's... <laughs> I need more clickbait. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Maybe, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't feel good about clickbaiting, I don't really do it. Um, also, 5, yeah. The thing about clickbait, like, if I clickbaited... I don't know how clickbait works, like, I know people get a lot of views from it, but why do people keep going back to their channel if they know that it's clickbait? Like, how do they get any subs and stuff? I don't know about that, but... Yeah, I, I'm not too keen on doing any clickbait. I don't do that. It's not really what I want to do. I want people to watch my channel because they enjoy the racing, so... That's why I do all of it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say, like, ooh, F1 2017 gameplay and then have just a 2016 career mode because <laughs> then everyone will watch it and be like what the fuck is this guy on about <laughs> so yeah that's I don't do any of that to be honest um fire your <laughs> blue shell alrighty <laughs> yeah maybe that's one way I could catch Ricardo oh my teammate's about to overtake me and he's already pitted again I think so that's pretty sad but there we go he hasn't crashed in this race I've crashed, I'm up to P3 after being 19th or whatever, a few laps in, so... You know what, it's going pretty well, even if I haven't pitted, I think it's still alright. Um, hold on. Sorry about that, I just needed to change my mic, it was about to fall out of my ear. Ugh. Go faster. <laughs> Come on, I'm in third place, this is a Toro Rosso, mate, it's pretty hard to go fast. Um, also I'm talking so it's it's a bit hard to comment and focus and race at the same time. I'm not very good with multitasking. <laughs> I'm assuming the OMG was blowing up. <laughs> yeah, so I forgot to shift because I was changing something on my mic and then I completely forgot about the game. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. But uh, Oh, there's a safety car. What's that about? A safety car came out. I don't know why. Um, I guess now would be a good time to pit then. That's a bit weird. I, d I have no idea why that's happened. Uh, okay then. Alright, that's really unexpected. Out of nowhere. I didn't see anything... There was no yellow flags. It's not like I saw anyone crash. It didn't come up saying that anyone was retired, but now there is a safety car, so... That's the second safety car in the race. Um, that should be... 
pretty good for me because that's about the time when I'd kind of want to pit anyway. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'll take that. I'll pit this lap. Hopefully I'll rejoin in, what, 4th or 5th or something. Should give me a chance to fight against my teammate. <laughs> the blue shell. Yeah, the blue shell. I fired a blue shell and it hit Ricardo and now there's a safety car. That's what that's about. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty. Time to pit. I just cut that corner and it's the safety car. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'll make sure that I don't speed into the pit lane because I've been in good positions in a few races and then completely ruined it by speeding into the pit lane, so... I won't do that this time. Hopefully. There we go, I've made it. Check the replay. Ah, oh, it's too late. The, the replay on this game only records the last, like, 20 seconds or whatever, so... Yeah, it's a bit annoying. I guess I probably could have done it, but... Well, it's too late now. Um, here we go. Where am I going to rejoin? My teammate's pitted as well, so he's already pitted twice. That's a bit weird. Where am I going to rejoin? Fifth place. That's not bad. I actually have a pretty good chance at getting on the podium now, because... Before, the fact that I crashed early on, it kind of ruined my chance against racing for the other ones. You got a 30 second mute for spam. <laughs> what the... Come on. That's weird. You weren't even re talking that much. Um, do you have to refill your gas in that game? Um, are you talking about project cars? Or F1? In F1 you don't, but in project cars you do if... Well, it depends on the settings, because... If you're in, like, an endurance race or whatever, then you'll have to make pit stops for fuel and you'll have to refuel it, yeah. Uh, no, you don't need to refuel in F1. There's actually not even any refueling in, um, real life F1. They took that away quite a few years ago, so... Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. You just... You can choose the amount of fuel. OMG, get to the stake. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> Sorry, I'm... <laughs> No, there's still a few laps until the safety car goes back in, so it doesn't really matter. That's fine. Um, and go to lean. Yeah, I am in lean. So that's the thing. With the fuel in F1, you can decide how much fuel you put in at the start. So you can use less fuel and then go and lean throughout the race so that you kind of have a... Oh, I've cut that corner. I wasn't even watching. So that you have a quicker car at the start of the race. Or you can go a bit longer if you want to use like the rich revs or whatever you put a bit too much fuel in the car but that's not really the best idea so that's basically the only stuff you can do with fuel in F1 um, there's not too much else apart from that yeah alrighty this actually could be a really good race to be honest I'm in fifth place I am now I think it's just about over halfway into the race so if I can make up a couple of positions on the restart, I could actually probably get into a podium position. That'd be quite crazy. So, it looks like someone's gonna get a pretty ridiculous podium in this race. Whether that's Palmer, Grosjean or Sainz, I kinda want it to be me. Um, you can see Carbon Fiber, yeah, I saw that as well, maybe that's from the crash. I'm not sure, there's been quite a few crashes in this race, so... I don't know which one that's from, but... Something's obviously happened to bring out the safety car. I still have no idea what it is, but... I don't know, I'm happy with it. <laughs> it might have been the guys at the back probably farting or something. Alrighty. If not too long left, I think there might be one lap left on this safety car before the restart happens, so... Hopefully that goes well. Uh, I've saved a lot of fuel. I've got quite a lot to burn. I'll be using Rick's rich revs as soon as the safety car goes back into the pits and then hopefully I can attack guys like Palmer off the line like if I look at the cars ahead of me they should be pretty easy to overtake these are the guys that I expect to be racing like for 10th place or whatever but here <laughs> so look at this lineup right now I think that's Ricardo in first then Palmer's in second place Oh wait, no, Palmer might be in third place, so I think there's someone else in there as well. Palmer's in third place, Grosjean's in fourth place, I'm in fifth place, and Carlos Sainz is in sixth place. That's just... Since when does that ever happen? 
Always in this game, the top positions are always dominated by like Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, but now they're absolutely nowhere. This is, it's quite crazy. And this is only like four races in as well, so it's not like these cars have a lot of R&D on them or anything. They're pretty much stock, so. I don't know, it's a nice chance to kind of chill out for a few laps, take a bit of a breath. Um, why did I choose Toro Rosso? I, choose Toro, I chose Toro Rosso because a couple of weeks ago when I decided that I'll do the career mode, I kind of, a, pe a few people were saying that I should have chosen Ferrari, and <laughs> yeah, so some people were saying that I should choose Ferrari, and I was gonna, but the thing is, I've already raced with Ferrari, I've done Ferrari career modes um, like three or four times this year to be honest, I've done, I did a no assist ultimate career mode on Ferrari, that was back when I played this game a lot, so it was a lot quicker at it back then, so it was really easy to do. Um, I started a career mode with Ferrari only a few months ago, but I gave up on that because the game kind of broke, so that career mode just failed. Um, and then I wanted to do a career where I'd be able to kind of challenge no matter where I was. So if I had a good race, I'd be able to still race against the AI. If I had a bad race, I'd still be able to race against the AI, and that's the thing about being a midfield team, like, if I have a really good race, then I can be battling for, like, 4th, 5th place, and it will be a lot of fun, and then if I have an average race, I'll be battling for, just to get into the points, and that'll still be pretty fun. And then if I have a bad race, I'll just be battling against, like, 15th, and that'll still be fun, so either way, it's still going to be a lot of fun with this career mode, so... I guess that's why I chose it, it's a lot more interesting, the racing for this. And I haven't really chosen a career mode with a team that's not very good before, so this is the first time I've done that, and I've enjoyed it, it's been a lot of fun. These first few races, they've been really interesting, a lot of weird stuff's happened as you can see in this race as well, so. That's just the kind of stuff that I wouldn't get if I'd have chosen, say, Mercedes or something, I'd just be winning this race. Um, there's a yellow flag. I'm not sure what that's about. This Ferrari's a lap down. Alright, here we go. The race is underway then. I can see first place, and we're 30 laps into the race. That shows how weird this race is going. Um, hopefully I can overtake Grosjean and the guy in front. Grosjean's gone really slowly. That's an overtake. That's fourth place now. And it's Alonso. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so there we go, that's fourth place. Palmer's only a second ahead of me now. Um, I could really finish in the top three in this race. This is on the ultimate difficulty, as I've said many times. It's just a really crazy race. I don't know what's happened, to be honest. There's been a lot of crashes, so... I've had quite a lot of luck. Um, considering at one point in this race I was down in 19th place, now to be fighting for P3 in a Toro Rosso, just 30 laps in, it's really, really weird, so... I guess I could do this race like 10 times over and I would not get a race like this again. <laughs> um, it's quite insane, but at least it's good fun. Um, good night. Alright, night, mate. Wait, hold on, I'll try read the comment, but I need to race, I'll read it on the straight, sorry. Um, please have Brazilians to accompany you. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, goodbye, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm talking to Marzalon. I, sorry, I can't read the names too much because I'm trying to race at the same time, but yeah, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed it. The AI are such cheaters sometimes. Yes, they are. I agree with you on that one because there's just times when the AI, they're just completely terrible. They don't... When there there's blue flags and stuff, they won't let you through. They'll... I don't know, it's awful, but I'll stop talking about that because I'm free wide with the cars in front of me. Um, I've just about managed to keep the position. That was quite mental. Um, yeah, the AI, they're really annoying in this game, like... I guess you'll never have perfect racing against computer-generated, like, lines and everything, but... It's just... Oh, Jesus Christ! Hold on, sorry about that, my cat's just fallen off a window. <laughs> She's sitting right next to me whilst I'm recording this. And there's a window next to me as well, and my cat has literally just tried to jump onto the window and fallen off and kind of just... <laughs> that, that's pretty crazy. She's now looking at me and kind of a bit annoyed. That That is weird. Alright, at least I kind of managed to keep my focus. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Alright, hold on. You should make me a chat admin. 
I don't think I need that considering there's only a few people commenting, so yeah, I'm not really too interested in that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine. I think most of the people who watch it anyway, we kind of, if there's someone just talking a bit of crap, we can kind of ignore them, I guess. So yeah, that doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Plus everyone, they seem to be nice. We're all having a good time. It's not like anyone's spamming. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I should make funniest time videos. If only I was like recording my face as well, because then I could have had a recording where the cat was just fucking sitting there on the window and then falling off the window too. <laughs> that would have been great. Um, Alright, I need to focus a bit more because I'm in a race right now and I'm kind of forgetting that. But here we go, I'm racing against my teammate for fourth place. I don't think we expected that to happen, but I will fight him a lot. Um, I've kind of lost a bit of pace over the last few laps. I think that might be because I'm talking a bit too much, maybe. I'm kind of not focusing as much. I'm making a few more mistakes, and it's letting my teammate catch up. <laughs> Face reveal at 1k. No, there's no need for that. Um, I like my face. My face is a nice face, but I don't think there's too much of a point in doing a face reveal. Yeah, I should stop talking a bit, because there's a lot of racing going on, but... I find it really hard to stop talking. I don't know. It's weird. I'll slow down with talking. I'll make sure. I'll try talk just on the straights, I guess. Alrighty, here we go. This is a straight, so I can talk again. <laughs> um, I am not gonna let my teammate pass easily. I can say that for sure because I really want to finish ahead of him. I've just been hit by a high. Ah! Uh, I've just been hit behind by two different cars. This is pretty crazy. Oh. Ah. Ah, he's still there. Alright, I've just about hung on to that position. Wreck him. <laughs> I should just turn into the mall and then take T4. <laughs> um, that's the thing about this race. I'd be happy still if I just finished in the top 10, so. Honestly, if they're quicker than me, I'll... I'll race against them, but if they're quicker than me, I'll kind of just, I guess, let them through, I don't know. I'm creating quite a bit of a train, to be honest, so... Sometimes I have a tendency of looking back and then I mess up, yeah. I mess up too much when I try comment too much, so... I'll focus a bit more, I'll see what my pace is actually like when I'm focused. Yeah. It, how is he so fast? We're in, we got the same engine, he's just completely done me on the... Bloody corner. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna be talking a lot less, like... I really need to focus on catching him. Because if he gets away from me at this point, I probably won't be able to catch up, so... The biggest thing for me will just be able to stay in DRS range, I guess, over the next few laps. And then later on, hopefully, I can fight against him for the position. I've got Verstappen right behind me, so that could be a bit of trouble. I don't want to hold him... Well, I, I don't mind about holding him up, to be honest, but... Don't forget to increase my fuel mix on the straights. Yeah, I will do that. I've got a lot of fuel to spare, actually. I've got one and a half laps, so... I think that was all of the safety cars. They've just saved so much fuel, so... That's going to be pretty useful. I will use it right now. I kind of... I want to overtake him, but there's not too much point dive bombing him at the moment, because if I can just stay in DRS range, then I'll be able to just... chill, and then... Yeah. It's not that serious racing. Yeah, I know I know it's not that serious racing. Um, I still I wanna do well though. I don't wanna let my teammate get away from me. I kinda I wanna focus, but then I'm still gonna be talking anyway, I know that, so. In the end I'm just doing this career mode for fun. It's not like it matters where I finish, but I also kinda wanna have a bit of pride left and finish out of my teammate, so <laughs> I'll try and keep it up as best as I can, you'd be serious. Yeah, I I have had career modes where I'm really serious, but I don't know, sometimes it just gets a bit boring, so you, kind of sometimes you just have to 
take it a bit more lightly and just enjoy it as much as you can. Alright, it looks like Verstappen's about to overtake me. But I kind of don't want to let him because I need to stay with my teammate. Wow, that was pretty messy. Ah! Wow, I lost a lot of traction out of that corner. I almost crashed. Alright, it's seeming pretty quick, actually, and quite simple to stay with him, so... Hopefully, actually, over the next few laps, I can just... kind of tag along with him, save a bit of the tire life, still set some quick laps, because of the DRS, and then maybe as a team we could catch up to, like, Palmer ahead, That it because there's still a long way to go in this race, there's still 20 laps, so... I think if that is Palmer only a few laps ahead, that'd be pretty good. Yikes, looks different. Yeah, it probably looks a lot different when I'm focusing compared to when I'm just racing, I guess, and not paying much attention because I kind of, at the moment, this is the point in the race where I need to focus. But I'm obviously still going to be talking. Oh, you said difficult. All right. Sorry, I can't read. Sorry, the T... Oh, well... I'm reading the comments on my computer, and it's actually pretty far away from me, so I thought you... <laughs> All right, yeah. This is actually pretty hard. I don't know what's going on at the moment, because I was really quick in qualifying. I was a lot quicker than my teammate in qualifying, but now all of a sudden I'm kind of struggling to keep up with him, so... I'm gonna meet this... Yeah, that's fine. Go... I I'm fine with you. Go and play a game, though. Like, the races are really long. I don't expect anyone to stay for the entire race because that's a good thing about live streams as well. You can just kind of join in whenever you want and then maybe have a look at the start of the race, see where I'm going whenever you want, and then just go and do your own thing, so. Yeah. That's a great thing about live streaming. Like, you don't really need to pay too much attention. You can just... And as well with YouTube, it saves the videos at the end, so if you want to see how the race finishes and everything, you'll probably be able to watch it back on repeat anyway, so... Yeah, it's pretty fun. I am trying my best. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but I'm... Yeah, I'm just losing a bit of pace. Maybe my tyres have wor worn out a bit too much compared to signs. I don't know if I was pushing a bit too much or something, but... That's one thing that I've noticed on my wheel as well. My qualifying pace is a lot slower than my race pace, so... I guess that's something I need to work on. That's something that'll help me in this career mode as well. Even then, like, if I don't catch up to him, it's not like I'm doing bad. I'm still in sixth place, so... That's still a decent result, but... Because it is my teammate, I still want to just about stay with him. And it looks like we're catching up to Palmer now. He's only a few corners ahead, so... Maybe I'll be able to, able to overtake him when we catch up. Alrighty, feel free to keep commenting if you have any questions or want to just talk, because I'll be focusing as much as I can, I guess. If there's... the less comments there are, the more I'll probably focus, but if you do comment, I'll still be definitely reading them and talking on the streets, even though I am trying to focus a bit more now at this stage of the race, so... If you get podium finished, do a shoey. <laughs> Fucking hell. Definitely, I will. I'll go down to the fridge, get a shoe, and, and drink something. Um, 
I'll I'll do a Ricardo. I think Ricardo's in the podium at the moment, so maybe I'll do a Shuey with Ricardo after this race. Who knows? But it looks like the podium's just too far out of my sight. I should be able to catch up to Palmer, I think. But actually, at this point, the AI they're getting pretty quick, so it's now quite a lot of a challenge. Whereas at the start of this race, I was just kind of cruising through and I made my way up like 15 positions or something. Right now it's starting to get a bit more difficult. All right, it looks, now it looks like we've just about caught up to Palmer, this train that I'm in, so. Now hopefully he gets overtaken on the first few corners and we can kind of just about take advantage of the AI racing against each other and try and make up a couple of positions. I'm, it, I'm really slow on the straights. I don't know what this is about. Like, I'm losing a lot of time just on the straights, so maybe my engines... Oh, yeah, there we go. I found out... There we go. I have figured out why I'm struggling to keep up because I was really quick in qualifying. I was really quick during the start of the race as well, but if you have a look right now on the engine, that's yellow, and I think that means it's like, from what I read a few months ago, it's about like half a second slower because it's engine wear or something, so that's gonna make it a lot harder to stay with these guys. So yeah, there we go. That's my excuse then for being slow, I guess. Um, my engine's kind of screwing up a bit. Um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but... Oh, I've cut that corner. That was not on purpose, but... Yeah, it's, it's disappointing, but I don't know. I'm still in decent position. As I said before the start of this race... What I want from this race is to finish in the top 10, so if I do that, then I'll still be happy. There's a lot of cars around here. I'm holding quite a few people up. But on the straights, you'll see my speed is just completely gone, so... That's going to make the last few laps of this race pretty difficult. Hopefully I can just about stay in the points. That's one thing that I noticed, when I push a bit too much, it always seems to bite me, like, towards the end of the races. I just... Yeah, I lose a lot of time on the last few laps. Yeah, I need to, I need to be really defensive against this AI, because... If I'm not, I could lose quite a few positions here. I'm really slow on the straights, and that's hurting my straight line speed, and obviously, and the overall lap time quite a lot. And now this late on to the race, with my tyres starting to wear, the engine wearing, it's getting really tough to stay ahead of them. I'm kind of just having to be as defensive as I can, and try and place the car so that they can't get around the outside, because... If I didn't, they'd probably just saw past me. I can tell my teammates just pulled away like it's easy. <laughs> and I'm sitting here with a train behind me. There's a few really quick guys in that train. The Force Indias, they're around the same pace as this car, I think, in the championship. Maybe they're a little bit quicker, but they'll be a lot quicker at the moment on the straights, especially. Oh, and there's a lot of cars coming through. Dive bomb. Jeez, <laughs> there's like four cars behind me. All right, one of them's Hamilton, so that's not helping. It's pretty hard to stay ahead of him. Oh, it could be Rothberg, actually. I'm not too sure. This race is getting pretty intense. There's still so long to go. I'm not sure if I can hold them off for so many laps. And it's really frust frustrating because I just don't have the straight line speed anymore to stay competitive. If you look at that, he's just, he's not even in DRS rank anymore, and he's just completely destroying me on the straights. I could lose a ton of positions here. That's disappointing. Alright, I'll try use the DRS, and hopefully that can give me a little bit of a boost. Like, through the corners, you can see I'm actually pretty quick, but once... It turns into a straight. <laughs> they just walk away. I feel like I'm in a McLaren Honda hit. I would not be surprised if my engine blew up. To be honest.
I might not even finish in the race in the points this race. I've been pushing too hard. It's taken a massive effect on the engine. It's now I think it's to the point where I'm about a half a second a lap slower than what I was before. That might even be orange. I don't know. It's just really bad as you can see. That's a Mercedes just walked past. So is the Williams. I <laughs> oh there we go. I can kind of just just about fight them on the corners. So I'll still maybe be able to keep the positions, I don't know. This is going to be really tough to stay in the points. That's a massive change considering the start of this race, I was just flying, I was finding it really easy. Now at the moment it's just a lot, lot harder. <laughs> he bumped into it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's DRS. That should save me a tiny bit. That wasn't too bad. There we go. DRS helps a lot. So if I can stay in the slipstream and kind of tow of a couple of cars, then hopefully I should just about be able to stay with them. I don't know. But it's going to be pretty tough to defend against the Williams behind me, and there's a few fast guys still that haven't made their way back up to the front, so... It could be tough. It's getting a bit intense. I didn't expect this race to be a race where I was challenging to just finish in the points. I really thought it would be nice and easy and I'd take a pretty good position, but it's not looking like it at the moment. Um, I've lost quite a few places over the last few laps. I'm struggling with the engine. The tyres are just about fine, there's not too much wear on this track, but... Just, it's so demanding on the engine, I guess, that it's putting a lot of... Time. Yeah, the AIs are going ham. They're actually, if you have a look at... Wait, Bottas has front wing damage. Oh, does he? Oh, alright, there we go, that might... Yeah, he's actually dropped back a lot, you're right. Damn, you've actually... That's pretty good. Alright, so I might be able to stay in the points then, though. That might have just saved me there if he has damage. Um, and the thing with the AIs, they're actually not that quick in the corners or anything. It's not like I'm losing pace to them that much there. It's just the fact that my engine's gone down, it's making it almost impossible to stay with them on the straights. And that's making it really hard, but now into the corners, Hulkenberg and Hamilton, I think they're having a bit of a fight. So hopefully, <laughs> like, look at this. I'm just losing so much time. Through the corners I can make it up. Alrighty. That's actually an overtake there, but without a doubt, he'll overtake me in a couple of laps once we get... Oh, no, not laps. Corners, I say that. Because once we get back onto the straight, I don't think I'm going to have a single chance, but... I'll see. I'll enjoy it whilst it lasts, I guess. Alrighty, here we go, this is another straight, and I think I'm about to get completely destroyed. Uh, <laughs> I'm in rich revs, I'm trying everything I can, but there we go, goodbye. Have a nice day. That is pretty sad. I'm a good racer, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, we're through the corner so I can try overtaking again. Um, yeah, I do a lot of racing, not really on this game, but I do feel like I'm a pretty good racer. It's just... I haven't spent enough time on this game to be really competitive, especially on my new wheel. Like, I've only had my racing wheel, and it's the first racing wheel I've had. I've only had that for a couple of months now, so I'm still taking quite a bit of time to get used to it. Um, I'm nowhere near as fast as I used to be on my controller on this game, at least. On racing sims, I'm a lot faster than I was on my controller, but... Yeah, for this, because it's a really arcadey game, it's just making it pretty difficult to get started on my wheel. I guess that's another reason why I'm doing this career mode, because it's kind of every time I race with my wheel, I get a bit better, so this should prepare me a bit more for when the next game comes out and I start racing on the leagues in that. So that should be good. Um, I should say my PC, I think it's about to die, so it's just come up with a little warning saying battery low. Battery low. I'm obviously, I'm racing on PS4, but... Oh, hello. I'm racing on PS4, so... 
it's not like I'll have to quit the races, but I might not be able to read any of the comments in quite a few minutes because I think my PC is about to die and that's the only thing that I have in front of me where I can check the comments, so. If I stop talking a bit, I'll still try talk, but I just won't be able to talk about, like, what you're talking about. I won't be able to reply, I think. So, you'll probably notice that maybe in a few minutes if I just kind of completely stop talking about anything related to what you're on about. <laughs> That'll be why. My PC will have died, I think. Having said that, there's only 10 laps to go, so maybe it might keep going. Um, reading the comments right now, what team are you going for other than STR? Um, at the moment, I'm probably only going to do one season on this game, to be honest, because... Um, the next game is coming out in like a month or so, I think, now. And doing about a race every day or a couple of days should just about make it to the end of the career mode, but I won't be able to start a new career. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I can't pause the game. Uh, I guess I'd be able to, but I don't really want to. Plus, m there's nowhere near me that I'd be able to charge my computer. So if I was going to pause the game, I'd have to pause it for like 20 minutes before my computer started getting back into charge and I can get racing again. So, yeah, that that's not really an option. Um, hello, Aiden, for being back. Hopefully... You're enjoying it. Um, you've missed quite a bit of racing. I've pretty much just been overtaken, to be honest, because my engine now, it's... I've taken a lot of engine wear over the last few laps, and I'm a lot slower than I was before because of it, so... I'll switch over right now so you can see. And, yeah, there we go. The engine, it's really low on power. It's like I'm driving a McLaren Honda, so... I'm really struggling to keep it in the points. Bottas has some wing damage, so... He's slowed down as well, but I think hopefully he'll be able to hold up the guys behind. I don't know, there's still quite a few laps to go in this race. Well, there are nine laps left, so anything can happen. Hopefully I can stay in front, but I don't know. It's going to be a real challenge, to be honest. I think I might have to go super defensive towards the last few laps to keep a point or two. Alrighty, so that's eight laps left, I think. I'm actually gaining time on Bottas behind me, but he does have a pen uh, no, uh, front wing damage. Having said that, if he can just hold up the cars behind, maybe I can keep pulling away just enough that I'll be able to hold it off for the last few laps. I don't know. It's getting pretty hard to stay with the AI. I, I know at the moment they're a lot quicker than me because of the engine. If you watch qualifying and everything, I was really finding it super easy to stay with the AI, but at the moment it's getting a lot harder. Um, Alright, comment, how is the T154 speed back? I have the T500, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't really have the, any um, thing to compare the T152, but at the moment I, I really like it, like, it's the only racing wheel I've ever had, so... Compared to, obviously, a controller, it's a lot better. Um, I, it's done everything that I've wanted of it at this point. It's not... There's been a couple of issues, but they've been sorted out pretty easily, so... Yeah, it's... I, I really like the wheel. It's pretty cheap. It's one of the cheapest that there is, the T150. Um, I think it actually might be the cheapest that has force feedback on it, so... Um, to be honest, it's it feels pretty good. It's nice and strong. Um, I've... It helps a lot, the... <laughs> as I said, I don't have a T500 like you, so... <laughs> I don't have anything to compare it to, but I'm really enjoying it, like... I'm still able to set pretty quick laps, I'm pretty competitive on, like, racing sims with it. So, I think it's, it's pretty good, it's not like it's... A slow wheel, it's not hard to control. Um, I, I like it a lot, it's a lot funner than... A lot more fun, I guess. Than racing on the controller, so... Yeah, I think the Force Feedback's pretty good. Um, I guess if I tried like a really expensive wheel, then I'd be able to... I'd probably tell the difference immediately. I'd probably say, wow, that's a lot better than the one that I have, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I should say at the moment, 
Unfortunately, my PC has literally just died, so... There's just been one more comment I've seen on the screen in front of me, but I can't read it because it's just died, so... Rest in peace to my PC. Um, I can't read the comments anymore as of this point, which is... I guess there's only a few laps left, there's only about six laps left, so... That should be about ten minutes. Um, I guess it's not too bad considering it's pretty much at the end of the race, but... Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Um, I've enjoyed talking to you all, it's been great fun reading the comments and having a little chat whilst I race away, but unfortunately for the last 10 minutes or so, I won't be able to read any of the comments. I'll keep talking, because obviously some stuff's still going to happen in the race, I still have my mic on, I'm still going to be talking for sure, but I just won't be able to talk about what you're talking about because I won't be able to read it. <laughs> That's pretty disappointing to be honest, I was, I was having a good time. And it makes it a bit worse when I'm seeing that there's comments coming in, like, I can see a few comments. Because it has a little number on the screen that shows me when people comment and stuff, but... I can't respond because I don't know what you're saying. It's annoying. That's annoying, but... I don't know. I don't know why it's died, to be honest. I thought it was on full charge like an hour or two ago, but... There we go. Just shows you how bad my PC is. Um, I think... I'm a lot slower than my teammate at this point. I was ahead of him quite a while ago, but just with the engine, as soon as that started going, I kind of realized it straight away that the engine was off because I just went from being completely one of the fastest guys, at least, that's not in the top three teams, and then all of a sudden I've been one of the slowest, so it's a lot harder. This track, there's a lot of long straights, it's really punishing me for going too hard on that engine and having some wear, but there's still only a few laps to go. I'm still in the points, so if I can salvage a point or two from this, I'll be pretty happy. Um, in terms of the comments, if you are still here by the end of the race, um, I'll be going downstairs and I'll be looking at a different computer and stuff and I'll be able to read the comments and talk to you still. I'll probably leave the live stream going for like five minutes or so after the race is finished so you can just see all the results. I'll probably go into my career mode and like the actual lobby of it and show what's happening in the standings and all of that. I guess that would be pretty cool. And then as well as that I'll be able to read the comments and talk as well at the end, see what I've missed on the last few minutes but yeah. At the moment it's gone alright, there's only five laps to go I think now. Um, actually, maybe six because there's one more lap than the math, because I'm pretty bad at math. Um, Bottas is still in P10, so as someone mentioned a bit earlier, he has wing damage. I didn't even realise that, I did not see it at all, but that's pretty good. Because now he's just about holding up the car behind, and I'm kind of able to pull away, and it might see me through to keeping some points in this race, but if the guys in front of him... No, if the guys behind him just about managed to get through on the last few laps, I might be under a lot of pressure. I don't know. It'll be tough. Um, there's another comment. I still can't read it, I'm sorry. I want to read it, I really want to talk, but yeah. I'm kind of running my own race at the moment. There's The guys ahead have just completely pulled ahead. The guys behind are being held up by Bottas, so... It's kind of nice that I can chill out for a few laps at least, but I think it looks like he's about to get overtaken, so I might be in a completely different place in a few laps. There we go, Gutierrez has just overtaken him. That means that he's going to be a lot quicker at the moment than me, so with just a few laps to go, I'm certainly going to need to defend towards the end of this race, and I might not even finish in the points actually. It's going to be pretty tough. It is going to be pretty tough. Um, I'm not going to be overtaking anyone else in front of me, simply because they're way too far ahead, and I have engine damage, so... Uh, engine damage, I guess it's where, to be honest, but... Uh, I think he's pulled out, like, a second on that last lap on me, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be under pressure. I can see him already. This might be a pretty enter entertaining end to the race, and I'm... I Honestly, I finished in the points for all of the first three races. I finished in pretty good positions as well, but 
It looks as though I might as well I might be taken just on the last few laps and kind of drop out of the points. But having said that, Bottas has just overtaken them again. So now hopefully he'll be able to just kind of block them off for another few laps. That's pretty good. I he's kind of being more helpful than my teammate at the moment, to be honest, because my teammate just left me, but Bottas is helping me out of treat, so. I don't know, hopefully it keeps going that way. I don't know how he overtook again, I guess he probably just about managed to stay in second place in that little train, and then he would have had DRS and the straight line speed would have helped him, I guess, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, having said a couple of moments ago that I might finish out of the points. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to. Bottas, he's still, they're fighting a lot back there. I can see on the top left, like the positions are changing pretty much every single sector, so that should be helping me quite a bit to get away. I don't know. But as I said, even if I finish 10th place, as long as I finish in the points in this race, I'll be happy. Um, because that'll be four races in a row with Toro Rosso where I finished in the points, and that'd be pretty good. I would definitely take that, especially after this race. It's been a really tough race, so if you haven't... I'm not sure, I can't see who's still watching and commenting because my computer's dead, obviously, but... If there's anyone watching that's new, I'll just give you a quick recap to this race at the moment. Um... So, at the start, I started off in, I think, 7th or 8th place, so I started off pretty well. Um, I managed to overtake quite a few people, there was a few crashes as well at the start, and that put me into a pretty good position. I think I, I, think I was up to like 6th place or something on the first few laps, but then when I was battling with Bottas, the guy right behind me, um, I just about overtook him. And then he kind of turned in on me a bit and we crashed. That was on the lap 4, I think. So we both got completely destroyed. We ended up, after the safety car came out, we were like last and second last. So I was down in 19th at that point. Um, one of the Ferraris also hit me when I crashed and that was pretty funny. I got completely destroyed, but somehow I still managed to keep going. I don't know what that's about. My car seems a bit indestructible, so I had to pit for a front wing down the show. Um, after that, once the safety car came back in, there was another crash with the cars in front. I think Hamilton and Vettel might have crashed, and they crashed pretty badly, so they ended up... I'm not sure if Hamilton's still racing, I think he overtook me a few laps ago, but then the safety car came out again, for pretty much no reason, but at that point, it was really weird, like, Palmer was in P3, my teammate was in P2, I think, and then I was like P4, so... For a, a long time in this race, like quite a far way in, I was actually fighting for the podium positions, which was quite insane. And then um, I was in P3 at a brief moment when the safety car came out, I think, and that was pretty nice. So just after the safety car came out, I think I managed to overtake up to P3, but then a few laps later, I kind of had quite a bit of damage to my engine, as I still do, and I'm not sure where that's come from. Maybe I was just over the engine or something, I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, either way it's happened, so for the last, like, 10, 20 laps I've been really struggling. I've went from about 4th place down to ninth now. Um, I just about managed to hold on for uh, long enough that the AI, they actually had a bit of a crash, so Bottas had some front wing damage when he was a lot quicker than me at that point, and now, because of it, he is a lot slower because he has front wing damage, so he hasn't pitted or anything, and that's helped me out of a treat because he, whilst I've been slower than pretty much everyone in the field, to be honest, as you can see behind me, he's quite a few seconds back, so he's just holding up literally the entire pack <laughs> because of the front wing damage. He, somehow he's managed to stay ahead of him, and that's completely saved me because when, if he didn't have that damage and he didn't hold up those people, I probably would have been completely swamped and lost a lot of positions. Because on the straights I'm losing easily like half a second a second every single time it goes on to these back straights, so... I'm just about managing to stay ahead. Um, now it looks like I'm going to finish in P9. 
it's actually a pretty disappointing race considering I could have been in a lot better position if my engine didn't kind of screw up a bit but you know what it's still a point to paying position I'll be happy with it it's been a fun race it's been a lot of racing I can't read the comments at the moment because my computer's dead but I've had a lot of good chat with the people in the comments it's been good fun Overall a pretty good day, so there's only a couple of laps left now. It looks like I should just about be able to hold on to this position. Um, if Bottas did a few laps ago kind of get overtaken, which he didn't, he just about managed to hold it up, then I probably would have had a pretty crazy last few laps trying to defend against the AI. But, it looks like I've got away with it, so... Yeah, it's alright. That should be then four races in a row. Where I finished in the points. And that's pretty nice. My teammate's way ahead of me, so I've been completely destroyed by him. It looks like he's in like 5th or 4th or something, so that's pretty crazy. Um, he hasn't even had any points to this point, if that makes any sense. Okay, hold on. Gutierrez has just overtaken Bottas with, what, just over a lap to go, so... Hopefully I'm far enough ahead that he won't be able to catch up to me, but I know he'll probably have quicker tyres. And he'll definitely have the better engine at this point. My engine's completely dead, so he's going to be catching up. Hopefully, he doesn't catch up too much. It looks like I have like a two or three second gap, I think. I think he might be swarmed by the people behind him. Hopefully, they have DRS. I don't know, but this is the last lap. I think it should definitely be a points paying position. It's been a good race. The commentary at the end of it, it hasn't been too good because I haven't been able to read the comments, as I've said. And that's pretty disappointing, that's probably the worst part of it, but overall, I'm still pretty happy. It's been a completely crazy race. If you, if you've just like, tuned in or if you're watching this race later on repeat when it's saved to my channel or something, then you should probably check out like, um, there's some points in this race. You'll probably be able to skip through where the, and find out where there's safety cars, because if you'll see a few laps before that, the racing was pretty crazy, to be honest. It was, it was a pretty good race, but there we go. Ricardo wins, so he'll be doing a shoey on the podium today. I'm not too sure why my teammate's finishing, but he actually... Honestly, he might even be in the top three. I don't know. I have no idea what's happened with him. He's had a really good race, so... It looks like it's the end of it. P9... I'm pretty happy with that considering I was just about last place a few laps in after getting taken out, but there we go. It's a good race overall. Um, stick around if you've been commenting because I will be responding to the comments once I cross the line. I'll be going downstairs, checking YouTube on a different computer and then finally being able to read the comments. So here we go. That was a good race. I enjoyed this race a lot. I hope you did too. And it is P9, that's the fourth race in the row then, where I finished in the points. I'm happy with that. The commentary will end right now because I'm gonna be leaving my PS4 at the moment. I'll still have the live stream going so I can keep commenting. Because I'm gonna go downstairs so that I can see what people have wrote and stuff. So I guess this is the end of me talking for this race. It's been good fun. This is the first time I've actually done a career where I've talked over it. Most of the other careers I've done, I've just kind of like raced a bit later on the day and then not had any commentating but i think it was good fun i liked it it was yeah it was good so there we go goodbye championship here's how things look in the driver's table it's a good result for lewis hamilton who moves further ahead at the top of the table now then anthony davidson who was your driver of the day let's give it to sergio perez that was a commanding performance today very impressive indeed and here's how things are shaping up in the constructors championship mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings meanwhile a strong weekend from red bull this time out and they improve their position in the championship. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top.
Alrighty, I know I said goodbye, but I haven't actually finished this room yet, so I'm just gonna quickly go. Um, I'm as I said before, I'm gonna have a quick look at the standings and everything. Um, I'm once again away from my computer, so I won't be able to comment. So if you are commenting, I probably won't be able to see it anymore. But I'm just to quickly end it off. It's been a good race. If anyone's just tuning in. If you want to watch the end of it at least, or the race start, you'll be able to see that on my channel and probably... I think YouTube automatically processes the videos. So after a few minutes, maybe hours, I don't know, it should be up on my channel. But as I said, I'm going to have a quick look at this screen in case anyone wants to see it, see how the actual career is going. Um, it's been pretty decent. So as you can see on the driver position, I'm, what, purple, so exceeding team expectations or whatever. Um, R&D, the team's going pretty well, to be honest. Here you can see we're like the fifth fastest team, so that's pretty good. It kind of reflects, I think, on... respond, see what you're saying. Hopefully you enjoyed the race. If you haven't actually seen it, because if you've just tuned in, I'm sorry that the race is over. I just finished a few minutes ago and it was great fun. So finished in the points again. As you can see, ninth place. That's pretty good. First four races all in the points. So I guess that's it now. This is what I wanted to do for, to finish it off because I know I haven't actually been kind of showing this kind of screen and where it's actually at. So there we go. I I'll be finishing the stream in a few minutes because I'm just going to go downstairs, check the comments again, and then probably talk to you on there. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.